Let's go into the 25th chapter of Exodus. Because we told Moses to go back and tell God all that he has said we will do, right? So now that we have made that agreement, the Lord is getting ready to ask us for something. When I brought you out of Egypt, I gave you a check in the amount of a whole lot of money. I paid you 400 years of service in one day. Because they spoiled the Egyptians with jewels of silver and gold and, and linen and fine linen and scarlet and purple color and whatnot, right? So now that I have brought you into myself and you agree to be my people, then I want you to do something for me. I want you to bring me a free will offering of all of the goodness that I have bestowed upon you. Exodus 25, and we're going to start reading in verse 1. All right, my brother, go ahead. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart. You shall take my offering. And look at what he say. Speak unto them and ask them to bring me an offering, but I don't want you to demand nothing. I want you to let them bring it to me willingly. That's why we don't pass the plate here at the Israel of God. We got the boxes set over here. You know what the Lord requires of you. You got to willingly give to them, or either you keep it to yourself. That's right. The Lord gave it to our whole family when he brought it out of Egypt. Now I want everyone to give it willingly, and whoever is willing to give me, that's who you take it from. Go ahead on and read. And this is the offering which you shall take of them, gold and silver and brass, and blue and purple and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and badger skins, and shittim wood oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for sweet incense, onyx stones and stones to be set in the ephod in the breastplate, and let them make me a sanctuary that I might dwell among them, according to all that I show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall you make it. So the Lord is asking for an offering because I want you to build me a house that I can live amongst you. I have brought you unto myself, I have went into a covenant with you, and I have made you my people, so therefore I want to be in the midst of you. So give me a little of what I have given you so that you can be on me a place that I could dwell in the midst of you. Now, let's go into the 26th chapter of Exodus, and we're going to read verse 1 and skip. Exodus 26 and 1. All right, my brother, go ahead. Moreover, thou shalt make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twine linen and blue and purple and scarlet. With cherubims of cunning work shall thou make them. Now, the Lord is giving him instructions on how to make this tabernacle, right? And in these curtains, he want the image of the cherubim there, right? Because once he expelled our father Adam and our mother Eve out of the Garden of Eden, the books that he placed around him cherubim to keep the way of the tree of life. And wherever the Lord go from that point on, he have his cherubim around him. And he have the image of the cherubim on the curtains, on the veil before the mercy seat where he sits. Now skip down to verse 30 and continue. And thou shalt rear up the tabernacle according to the fashion thereof which was showed thee in the mount. And thou shalt make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twine linen of cunning work, with cherubim shall it be made. And thou shalt hang it upon four pillars of shittim wood overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold upon the four sockets of silver. And thou shalt hang up the veil up under the tatchets that thou mayest bring in thither within the veil the ark of the testimony. And the veil shall divide unto you between the holy place and the most holy. And thou shalt put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy place. And thou shalt set the table without the veil and the candlestick over against the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. And thou shalt put the table on the north side. Now this is a description of the tabernacle that the Lord is asking us to build for him that he can dwell in the midst of us. Now I'm going to read to you some printed history that's taken from this writing called The Treasures of the House of the Lord. And this information 
is somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 16 years old when I printed it out. So I have to update it every time I do this lesson. But this is what the information reads. It says, Moses was also instructed to construct a large portable tabernacle or tent entrusted to the care of the priest of Aaron. A detailed description of this tabernacle is given in Exodus the 25th and the, through the 30th chapters. The tabernacle was built by free will offering donated by the people in such generous amounts that more than enough material was available. The material assembled for the tabernacle are described in detail in Exodus 35 through the 38th chapter and summarized in Exodus 38 verses 21 through 30. Now listen to this. The total quantity of gold collected was approximately one ton. Now, the Lord told us to borrow gold and stuff from the Egyptians when we came out of here, right? The Lord asked us for a free will offering to build his tabernacle, right? And we gave up one ton of gold. Of silver, three and three-quarter tons. Now, that's what we gave up willingly. We still had some in our pockets left. Right. Of bronze, two and a half tons. At today's prices, and like I say, this information is about 16 years old. At today's prices, gold is approximately $500 per troy ounce or $6,000 per ton or $6,000 per, $6, per pound or $12 million per ton. Silver is currently priced around $12 per troy ounce or $144 per pound which is $288,000 per ton. Hence, the gold and the silver used in the tabernacle of Moses would be worth over $13 million 16 years ago if we were to reproduce that. Now, this is what our fathers was doing back in the days of Moses that we don't even have a clue of. Now, Exodus the 12th through the 35th chapter, Exodus chapter 12, verse 35, states that the Jews were given gold, silver, and ornaments by the Egyptians at the time of the departure from Egypt. The golden lampstand in the tabernacle, the one that he told them to sit on the table, weighed a talent. A talent is 100 pounds and would be worth a half million dollars for its gold alone 16 years ago. Now, like I said, I have to update this information, right? So now, as of last night at 5.35 p.m., the price of an ounce of gold was $1,704.36. The price for a pound of gold was $24,854.51. The price for a ton of gold was $49 $709,022.89. The price of silver for an ounce as of last night was $31.46. A pound of silver cost $458.77. And a ton of silver cost $917,534.19. So if we were to build this same tabernacle that our forefathers built for the Lord in Moses' day. If we was to build that today, the price for the gold and silver together would equal $52,691,009.02. The lampstand that sat on the table that weighed 100 pounds, the value of that lampstand today would be $2,485,451.14. Now, this is what we did for our God that we don't know nothing about. This is how we were living when we were kings, when we were the people of God, when we was close to God and God was close to us. And we were able to live like this because this is the type of wealth and riches that the Lord bestowed on us. We didn't go 
and do nothing for it, even though we did work for the Egyptians, but the Lord paid us, even though the Egyptians wouldn't. Because the Lord was trying to discipline us and he was trying to humble us as a people because he knew how hard-headed and stiff-necked we are as a people. That's right. So after we build this tent, $52 million tent for the Lord, and he's in the midst of us, this is what Moses had to say to us. Let's go into Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Deuteronomy chapter four. See, we still like the best of everything now. I wonder why. Because it's in our DNA. And you can't break it. You go to a homeless man out on the street, and he asks you to help him out, and you go and give him a quarter, and he look at you like you crazy. <laughs> Wait a minute, you ain't got nothing. Yeah, but I want more than a quarter. <laughs> they arrogant, right? Why? Because this is us. <laughs> this is us. We don't come cheap. <laughs> we don't come cheap. 